can you tell me a little bit about this play Mush and Me? Okay, uh, so Mush and Me is uh, essentially it's a love story. Uh, it's set in London and it's about a Jewish girl and a Muslim guy, that's us two, uh, who find themselves falling in love. Um, and it's about the complications, the difficulties and the joys of them starting and forming a relationship and seeing if it can go from something that's light to something that's actually serious and can it last. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's been likened a little bit to Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. It has, and I, you know what, I, I didn't know whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I think most stories probably can find their roots back into a, a Shakespearean story of some sort. So it is a modern day love story, it's about two people that are from totally different worlds, both religion and class, and there's something about each other that they fall for, and, and I guess sometimes you can't really choose who you fall in love with, and that, when that feeling takes over you kind of go for it. And also, you know, in Romeo and Juliet you have to cap capture it. Yeah. That's it. And the Montagues, you know, who are family politically speaking, we don't particularly get along. And uh, mm. obviously, with the current climate, you know, Muslims and Jews, and what's kind of happening in the Middle East, that, that seems quite prevalent. So it's a nice little link. Yeah. What do you think of religion, or what does the play have to say about religion, or should we just fall back on just loving one another instead I, of getting all wrapped up in in things? I think it's quite a, a kind of difficult topic to kind of put a specific message on because everyone has different opinions and we would never want to disrespect anyone's opinion but it's just quite interesting to explore one character which is mine that uh, doesn't necessarily have a strong faith in God which is very culturally Jewish whereas Musha's character has a real belief in God and it's whether these kind of either age-old traditions or strong beliefs can stand in the way and cause boundaries for feeling something quite visceral, which is their, their love for one another. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and what is it like for you guys playing characters like these? What do you love about your characters? I, I myself have a, because I'm not, I'm not Muslim myself, but you know, I have an understanding of Islam very closely. And I guess what I love about the character is uh, he has a very strong, pure connection with God. Regardless of any religion and whatnot, he, has a, he really does have an honest connection with God and it happens to be through the path of Islam. And I guess it's been wonderful for me because I, I myself find it quite hard to believe in God, but it's been wonderful to kind of explore that and understand what is that relationship. Is it, is it like, for example, when someone meditates, that, that feeling of calmness, is that what God is? Is it an energy? Is it a person? And really trying to understand that feeling and relationship and really play it truthfully. Um, and it's been quite a fascinating journey, which is still kind of continuing. No, that's fantastic. Um, I guess for me it was a bit of a different experience. Um, the show started quite a while ago now, and it was inspired from a conversation I'd had with my great aunt, um, who's 102 years old. And uh, when I was speaking to her, she told me that when she was my age, in her mid-twenties, she fell in love with a guy that wasn't Jewish. And he proposed to her and she said no. And it was mainly because of the fear of how her community and her family would react. And I guess that got me thinking, well, what would be the modern day equivalent? And that's when this whole process kind of started. So it's weird to have like a, almost a personal connection to the story as well as coming at it as an actor and applying all the same techniques as I would with another show, you know, any other story. So, but I think like Jazz said earlier, the main thing is it is a love story. Yes, there's religion, but these could be any, any tensions that kind of stand in the way of a, of a relationship. Fantastic. And what's really unique about this show, which I really loved, was that I think a lot of love stories, when you see them, you have to assume that they, the characters love each other. There's, a, there's an ownership on the audience's part to just believe that they're, they're in love. With this story, you see that from the beginning, the middle, and the future. And you see the little things that really make their relationship very unique to each other, which I think is wonderful to watch as an audience. And. What do you hope people will take away with them from this play? Do you think we've come mm. very far? Do you think, you know, people... I, I think what Carla, who wrote the show, what she's done really well is to not make it a kind of didactic show where we're telling you you must leave thinking this. It actually leaves quite in a, quite an ambiguous way, on purpose, not because it's the easy way out. <laughs> it's more because we want people to go away and talk. And isn't that what theatre should be about? You know, raising a platform to then question things. So 
if anything, we hope that it makes people leave and we're not saying we're pro or anti-religion or anything like that. It's more to create more of an open forum of discussion. So yeah, we hope we've done that. Absolutely. Really kind of uniting the heart and the, the head and the heart mm. and really question, you know. Um, and really understand why you do what you're doing, whatever a tradition it might be, whatever whatever it might be. But learn to question and understand one another rather than be separate. Divided from no reason. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, do you just hope that love wins out? I say. Well it's such an instant reaction you love first before you think about the consequences. Anything. Exactly. It's just an instant reaction. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank and what you. is it like being here too at Holy we're Street still in Adelaide? In. I mean, still we only settling. arrived on Saturday, so yeah. we're still a bit half jet lagged, <laughs> half acclimatising, and everyone's very, very friendly, so oh, yeah. it's really nice. It's and the really more Australian audiences we can get and come along and make friends with, the better. Absolutely, and it's just nice to be in a hot country. Hot country. <laughs> Even the place set during summer as well, so it kind of helps. Excellent. Enjoy the Thanks season. Thank you. Thank you.